It was hell! Hello everybody, hope you're doing good. Uh, welcome to my kitchen. Today is a little bit of a cheeky video because one of the last videos I did, if not the last one, we did the edible erupting volcano cake, which was one of three options. Uh, Mrs. Barry was hounding me, please make the big millionaire shortbread. A lot of you guys did want that, but the volcano, as you've seen on the video, did win that poll. And I've been teasing Mrs. B through the week, actually. I actually, the other day, um, this is like one, literally one left. In supermarkets, they sell like these really tiny versions. <laughs> I stuck one by her bedside table last night, and she's like, I hate you. So don't worry, I'm sure I'll be able to do that video soon. Mrs. B is on a half day at work today. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, just done the school run, just walked the dogs, and I'll give myself roughly three and a half hours to make a massive <laughs> millionaire shortbread to hopefully surprise Mrs. B. When she went to work today, I was like, oh yeah, I'll try and do that on a video sometime soon. She's got no idea. She actually thinks I'm doing something savory today. So let's crack on. I've got the perfect thing. I've got an oven. Because a millionaire shortbread is traditionally uh, sort of cut into a square shape. The oven, right? This whole shelf is pretty much a nice sort of square. So we're going to custom shelf this with a Barry Lewis gadget box and foil right now. It should work stonkingly. So without further ado, hopefully the next thing you'll see is a nice foil wrapped uh, tray. All right, long story short, I just tried to uh, make one and fit it in the oven. It didn't work. There was a lot of uh, profanity, so I've taken another step. But you can just about see my logo there. This is my last little bit of foil going on. I need to make sure every little speck of foil is covering the cardboard. We don't want that. But that, my friends, is looking rather epic indeed. That's going to be our tray for our shortbread, which we're going to make right now. Oh, actually, no, we better make sure it fits. Oh, it's gonna be a bit of a tight squeeze, but Cinderella, you shall go to the pool. Okay, so this is uh, the build up to a millionaire shortbread. You have got the uh, shortbread base, which we're doing now. I'm not so worried about that. The most tricky bit with it is actually gonna be the caramel center to make that set and to make it the quantity we're doing, okay? Uh, if we don't get it right, it's gonna be gooey and not set at all, <laughs> which my pan will fail. And then the chocolate is just poured on top. So. The, the base, we're ready for that now. This is going to be the critical stage. Let's go. Shortbread. Oh, and this is my sexy lens that I don't use all the time, but it's quite cool, isn't it? I just had a missed call from Mrs. Barry. Welcome to the O2 messaging service. Oh, no. A person you are called. Why? She literally hit when you, someone rings you and you ring them straight back and they don't answer. If she walks through the door now, that's going <laughs> oh, Right. Anyhow, shortbread. This is what 300 grams of caster sugar looks like. This is what pug salt and pepper shakers look like, but that's beside the point. This is what 800 grams of softened butter looks like. Oh, hang on. Uh, let's try that again. We'll go for the flour first of all. We'll flour in with the sugar and we'll mix this together just to merge it, just because they're both dry ingredients, all right? And now, as you've seen, many viewers of the channel over the years will know that this step is something I absolutely detest, where you would normally get your hands in and rub it together, working the butter into the flour and sugar. But there's a gadget for that. Yes, this thing, uh, which is basically called a pastry blender. Uh, one of you guys actually told me about that a long time ago, and it has been one of my best finds ever. You can, oh no, <laughs> I should have broken my butter down a bit more, but Yes, that's why you need to slice it up, Barry, but you can just basically work it through. So it's doing the job of rubbing the butter for you so you don't get any on your hands, as I say that I've got it on my knuckles. Right, just blend it in. That is actually starting to work really, really well. When I've made this in the past, if it is still a little bit dry once you've fully blended it in, you can add a real smidgen of milk, but you really wanna try and avoid that as you, as you can, if you can. Brilliant, first time. Don't need to retake that, do we? All right, so that will do. It's a little bit lumpy. Uh, looks, looks like clouds in a bowl, really. But um, are clouds lumpy? That might have been the worst reference ever. Uh, all I'm doing now, I mean, you're supposed to need it, really, but I'm just really, for this point, ensuring uh, that I'm getting all the flour, gathering up anything that I've missed, and kind of bringing it as a bit of a dough, but we'll get that effect as we press it into our tray as well. I'm just kind of playing with it. <laughs> but you do want to knead it anyway, just to ensure that you have got it nice and mixed together. It is tempting to want to eat it, but not that tempting. 
So I think the best way to do this is to just dump this whole mixture in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is great because I've kind of got like a cat litter tray. Probably not the best reference, but I've got a little tray that we can press down and work into the sides. This is fun. <laughs> CPR. One, two, three, four, four. All right, check this out. <laughs> I've pressed it all down and I, it's, it's quite tricky because I'm not sure if it's that even. In some places it feels quite thick and others it feels really, really thin. So what I'm gonna do is actually make another batch of the same amount just to make sure that I've got and I want it to have a good slab there, all right? So we'll jump to me doing all that again. I'm gonna run out of time. <laughs> I just want it to be right. See you in a minute. Ugh. Long story short, <laughs> we're just done. Well, hey. Another batch on there and it's probably, it probably looks identical now to you, but that has been so worth it. I've brought the levels up, I'm pressing it right down and it feels, it feels more substantial now. It feels like we've got a good potential for a base. The only thing I'm worried about is maybe there might be like two separate layers within a layer, but it should bake and merge. Speaking of that, I'm gonna get it in the oven now and bake it. Probably for a long time actually. I, I'm not really prepared for this. It's nearly 10 o'clock and you'd normally bake it for around about 20 minutes. <laughs> Please shut. I'm gonna give it probably 45, an hour, until it's done basically. I might need to cover it in foil if it catches too quickly. Other than that, there's no point in me doing anything else until I know that this is done. So we're against the clock now. All right folks, I've baked it to the point where I'm starting to wonder whether it's gonna like turn burnt to a crisp. It smells so good in here. I trusted it so much so that I nipped to the shop and bought some more stuff for the caramel because I'm thinking my ratio might be out slightly. So. Let's get out the oven. Just before I do get it out, if you have not backed the Kickstarter campaign for the pizzeria, which I'm, da, 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 I'm pleased to say has fully funded, I didn't get to announce it because by the time I announced it, it was already launched, the last video I did. So it's been a crazy few days, fully funded already, but you can continue to pledge if you wish, which will make things uh, so much more exciting. Check out so many perks. And I thought, while well, I'll do that, every time I mention it, whilst the campaign is still live, I'll do a pizza dad joke. So today's pizza dad joke is, I burnt my Hawaiian pizza the other day, I should have put it on Aloha setting. Come on. Speaking of Aloha setting, uh, it has browned on the top. I put foil on, but I don't mind that because it should be getting covered in our caramel. Uh, does look more like a cake, but I promise you it smells so good. It will be wobbly as well. Not like wobbly like a cake, but it will be sort of loose. So we need to let it cool down fully. I'm actually glad I'm the only one here right now because as we know, the oven gloves have got holes in at the moment. We don't have any other ones. I've ordered some more, so I'm using tea towels over the top. Ah, yes. All right, so this is how it's looking. It is actually quite firm, to be honest, but it, once it cools down, it'll firm up even more to that lovely shortbread biscuitiness. To the left over there, we've got the bits to make uh, the caramel filling, which could make or break this. We've got about 90 minutes left to do it all. Uh, in this massive saucepan are nine tins of condensed milk. I thought I'd just show you opening one because it gets a bit messy. Oh, if I can get the lid off, there we go. <laughs> oh, you see, this stuff is insanely naughty. And I've done that nine other times off camera. 3.9 kilos of condensed milk. 500 grams and then one kilo of muscovado sugar. And then that, Wow, a kilo of butter. We're gonna melt this up. First thing is gonna melt up, in merging together the sugar and the butter and the milk together, and then we're gonna bubble it away, simmer it down, which will hopefully help with the thickness. Because that is where this can go wrong. It's literally make or break, because if we make this too runny, it will never ever fully set in the fridge. Oh my gosh. The most important thing is to keep this mixing, even when you're making it on a really small ratio, because you do not want the sugar burning the bottom of your pan. So I'm gonna be stirring this up. Wow, can you see that? <laughs> We're gonna be stirring this up for quite a while. But you know, it's not the most boring thing to do. It's actually quite relaxing. This smells amazing. The sugar's all dissolved through. You must, must, must keep stirring that. I can't reiterate that enough. All I'm doing now is I'm gonna drive this up to a boil, get it bubbling away, but still stirring it all the time. Ah. Uh -huh. Look at that, it's bubbling away, amazing. So again, the very exciting stirring step, but that is exciting seeing it bubble like that, I love it. So I'm gonna let it bubble like this for probably a couple of minutes, and then we'll lower the heat down and then continue to cook it, stirring again, amazing, for around about 10 to 15 minutes. Well, that's going good, unless you wanna burn your 
hand, that's caramel that splashed up on my hand. And, more importantly, what are you doing here? I came to surprise you for lunch. You came to surprise me for lunch? Yeah. Yeah, you try and do one thing, eh? Actually, you were here just then when I burnt my hand. Can you do a reenactment of the noise I made? Pour a little bit. Oh my gosh, that's more than I wanted. Okay, a little bit more. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. Oh, this is so hot. This is ridiculously hot. <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't spill it over the edge. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I'm going to leave that there like that. There's a little bit left. If I push that any more, it could get really dangerous. It's not leaked through. Mrs. B, you've actually ended up being part of this now. You're just like, it's like a sea of caramel. We've just got it on an old chopping board that I've got. So we can now hopefully lift it into the garage as our fridge. See ya. All right, folks, here it is in the garage, just cooling down. If we can get it to like reasonable room temperature, it's then going in the fridge to hopefully, I don't know if this is gonna work, hopefully firm up. I think trying to do this in half a day was a little bit optimistic. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. I've got it out over there. The actual garage has done its job and the caramel, in fact, let me show you. Why don't I just show you? It's quite gummy if I go like that. Do you know what I mean? It's got like a skin on it, but it's, it's actually holding its shape. And it's still, like, it's not chilled. So when it chills, hopefully it will hold. And then we can get the chocolate on as well. So let's get it in the fridge. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, it is heavy, but... Did that fit? That felt a bit, that sounded a bit squishy. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Oh, I might have to take it off my wire rack, which is given its stability. Moment of contemplation. Good morning, folks. I can't remember where we got up to last night because it got crazy. This is a clip I took on my phone in my office of absolute carnage. Can you hear that? I'll finish the video tomorrow. Yeah, there's me wanting to make a giant millionaire shortbread. Right, you didn't know I did that, did you? Trying to make a giant millionaire shortbread in a few hours to surprise you. You came home from work early. I'm like, it's all right, we can still do this. Good news is I've been in the fridge overnight looking amazing. And I'm melting chocolate for the, what the heck was that? For the next stage. It was hell. What, the kids? Oh my gosh! <laughs> the screaming! It was just like audible, like, ah! Like, I can't film in this, and I can't live in this! They did go outside after that, though. They're not like... And make just, made just as much noise as Yeah, but they're not like cats, you don't shoot them outside. Like, why, can't they, why can't they be like pugs, like, down there? They're just, like, chilling out. Anyhow, we have got a monstrosity of set of caramel in my fridge. Look at this. Oh, that's so good. And the great thing is, um, even last night it was firm and set, but now it's so chilled, it is ready for a drenching of the final layer of a millionaire's shortbread, which I suddenly realised um, I didn't need to show you the little mini one because we've got an amazing picture on our wall. I think Mrs B got these online somewhere. I can't remember the name of the company that does them, but that's quite cool. That's, I think that's the inspiration why she wanted one. Basically, I'm melting some chocolate up here. I thought I'd go Bam Marie style. Oh my gosh, you just appeared. I'm gonna add some other non-melted stuff in the stir it through at the end, which we're gonna drench. Ow! We're gonna coat on top of that chilled caramel so it should Sorry. cling to it almost immediately, ready for you to have a giant millionaire shortbread uh, at, at like yeah. 10 in the morning. All to myself. You can have it. I just, I just wanna finish this video. This was supposed to be over this time yesterday. I was. Slave it away from you! Stir that through me old fruit. Oh my gosh! This, I took it off the tray. It doesn't matter, it feels like it's got its own shelf anyway because of the biscuit. Ah! Can you explain how cold that is? Can you use your best descriptive words? Mm, cold. Brilliant. So you just said off camera, that's quite hot. But we want it to be fairly warm because that's going to cool it down and it will otherwise set too quick. We need to spread it fast at pace. My name is Maximus Radimus Brasimus. 
and this is my colleague Becky. <clears throat> Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to pour the melted chocolate over the chilled Kalmar base. Do you accept my mission? Mission accepted. <laughs> Why can't I get a fancy name? Ready? Yeah, what have I taught you? Let them see. That's Let them I see. Start in there. No. Right. No. Sometimes in the pitch, she's a pat. I'll pour like that, and I'm like, go. I'm recording I'm this. Go. And like, they didn't see that. This is for you. Oh, I had a tweet about uh, you guys watching on TV. Watch so many. Ow! Your face. You're stabbing me in the neck with a spoon. Yeah. So many of you are watching on TV, and I sometimes say, check the link in the description. You're like, I can't. I'm on the sofa with my grandma. It's amazing. When I first started doing YouTube, it was just like, no, just watch on my little Dell. Sorry, I'm going to have to show you the base of the bowl now. <sighs> they don't like that. What do you mean? <laughs> this is amazing. Look at this. I'm going to spread two. Oh, look at you with your posh spatula. Oh, Where did yeah. you get that from? The drawer. Oh, I yeah. gave you the kids one. Brilliant. Hmm? That makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. Should we tap it like uh, chocolate temporary style? Uh, I think if we do that, it will... No. Just tappy tap. See? What? See, it's settling. I want to get this in the fridge right now. Do you want to do it with me? Uh-oh. What? Am I just making more marks? Yes. <laughs> get some white chocolate and drizzle. I'm not doing white chocolate, mate. Lines. Have you seen that? Sometimes... Have you set the budget I've spent on this? Have you seen that there? You get... Ten tins of condensed milk in that. Do you know how much that is? This is all for you. Surprise. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to do this on my own back. Don't rush to help me. Yeah, because actually that biscuit base is super strong. We'll get that in there. And that chocolate should not take that long to set. Right, hold out your hands. Ready? Yep. Got it? Ready? Nothing there. There it is, there it is. Ah. That's to do it one more time. I do know what it looks like though. No, they, you don't. They help you don't know what it looks like. Off. This is different. Did you do some white chocolate fancy mark? No, I didn't. Effect? Oh. Ready? Hang on, stay, stay. Not the dogs. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh my gosh. That looks amazing, doesn't it? That's bad. Thank you so much for inviting some other children over last night and forcing me to keep this in the fridge overnight for an amazing <laughs> set. The biscuit is amazing. It's like a proper or like wedge like that's gorgeous. That's like a proper you could build a house with that. We're just taking the thumbnail picture and legitimately <laughs> Mrs. B can't lift it. <laughs> don't, because I drop it. No, don't. I drop it. Oh my gosh. That's so heavy. Come on now. It was like a baby. <laughs> Come on. I, I made this for you. Went through all the pain. And now you get to have the picture okay. of it. Thanks. The arms are hurting. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you there until you drop it. Seriously, because like. I will drop it. Yeah, do it. Drop it. It's no, fine. Uh, We're not eating that. Look at that nugget there. That's fine there, isn't it? Well, how much are you going to eat? <laughs> Huh? Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> oh, you put the knife down. Oh yeah. Put the knife sorry. down. And that even slight. Oh. Oh my gosh! Look at the layers. It's good, isn't it? We've got. I'm glad I did that extra bit because on a mini shortbread, the base does tend to be the thickest part. Oh, well, that biscuit's a bit firm still. I think it needs to go to room temperature. But oh the God. teeth, the gnash has got through it. That is gorgeous. Please don't be disappointed because I didn't put white chocolate on it. I think that would have... no. <laughs> I think that would have made it for me, actually. Made it. What the hell are we going to do with that now? Oh, I know. You're seeing your friends, aren't you? Your well, six of them. Your sister's baby shower. Oh, baby shower! Right. <laughs> Turn up to a baby shower, not with a nappy with, like, chocolate pudding in or whatever they do. Oh, my God. You're going to turn up with this monstrosity. Mm. A millionaire's shortbread fit for a queen. Oh, thank you so Happy? much. Thank you. That's all right. Amazing. This video worked out in the end, didn't it? Mm. Well done, Mrs. B. Thank you. Let's go for a run. Check your level player. No matter what your style, the kitchen's for me. Simon's moustache, goatee, maybe all three. Oi! Boston! The dog's barking. What are you barking at? What the hell are you doing? Trying to get something out here.